Today we're going to learn how to balance redox reactions by the half reaction method. This method is necessary when you have a reaction of something such as a polyatomic ion that we see here changing into a simple ion. If we were to just see the redox reaction of a metal ion that didn't involve a polyatomic ion, this would not be necessary. But anytime you see a polyatomic ion, this is a method we'll use. And the other thing that we'll assume is this occurs in acidic solution. What you see here, we're going to do this as our example. We're going to uh, react a potassium permanganate solution. And you see this is a purple solution that we see here in the, in the uh, Erlenmeyer flask with an iron 2 nitrate solution. And this is the solution you see in the beaker. Notice the uh, potassium is a spectator, so we didn't bother writing that down. The nitrate's a spectator, so we didn't bother writing that down. So let's start. We're gonna, I'm going to give you three steps to balance redox reactions. So here they are. So the first thing is writing down these three steps for balancing redox reactions. So let, let's make sure you do this. Step number one, you want to split the redox reactions into two half reactions. So step number one is to split the redox reaction into two one-half reactions. And I'll go through an example after I explain all these steps, and each, each one of these steps should make sense after, when we do the example. So that's step one. Step two, balance the half reaction separately. Now this step actually has three subsets, so I'm going to go through those as well. But balance each half reaction separately. And here's how you do that. First, you balance what I call non-ho. This means you balance in any element that's not oxygen or hydrogen. So any other element on the periodic table that's not oxygen or hydrogen, you balance that first in the half reaction. After you balance that element that's not an oxygen or hydrogen, you want to balance the other elements in this order. So I call it O, which means you balance oxygen first, and oxygen is balanced on one side by adding waters to the other. So whatever side has more oxygens on it, you balance, you add an equal number of waters to the other side. And then you balance the element hydrogen. So O stands for oxygen, H stands for hydrogen. And to balance hydrogen, we said this as reaction is going to occur in acidic solution, we'll do that by adding protons to the opposite side. So we're going to balance oxygens by adding water, because water contain, contains oxygen, and we're going to balance the hydrogens by adding protons. Now we have the third step of balancing the half reaction separately, is these half reactions will contain electrons or charges, and you want to make sure charges have to be balanced. And so we balance the half reaction separately in the last step by adding electrons. So that's step two. So step one, step two, step three. We've got these two half reactions. You go through and balance each one separately. Then you want to combine them. Similar to what we saw, we had simple half reactions. You want to make sure your electrons cancel. So a third step is to combine the half reactions in such a way that your electrons cancel. So that means you may need to multiply one or both of reactions through by number to make sure you have a common number of electrons. Because the number of electrons that are lost by one reaction have to equal the number of uh, electrons that are gained by the other, other reaction. Because we know electrons are lost or transferred in redox reactions. So let's go through our example. So the reaction we're going to look at is the reaction potassium permanganate reacting with the iron 2 solution. The iron changes to iron 3. And potassium permanganate just changed to Mn2+, or manganese ion. So the first step is to split into two one-half reactions. So what you want to do is look carefully. One-half reaction is really going to be the permanganate going to the manganese ion. So that's going to be one-half reaction. And the other half reaction will be the iron 2 plus going to the iron 3 plus. So here are our half reactions. One is a potassium permanganate going to the Mn2 plus, the manganese ion. And the other half reaction is the iron 2 plus going to iron 3 plus. So that's our first step. Now we want to balance the half reaction separately. Now the easiest one to balance will be the iron. So we'll just save that for last. But let's go ahead and get started with balancing this half reaction, the permanganate changing to the manganese ion. So if you remember from that, the order for this, and there's a reason I wrote that, is you have to remember balance the half reaction separately by adding non-ho O electron. So if you remember non-ho O electrons, so the non ho or the non hydrogens and oxygens. Now, hopefully, you recognize there's one element that's not oxygen or hydrogen, and that is manganese. So, there's one manganese here, one manganese here. So, the number of manganese is actually balanced, so we're done with that first part. The non ho is balanced. Now, we go to the non ho to O. 
So balance, first you have to balance the oxygens. Now you notice there are actually four oxygens here, but no oxygens on the product side. So we need to balance the oxygens, and we do that by adding waters. Since there's four oxygens here, we're going to add four waters to the product side, and that's going to look like this. So now we have permanganate goes into MN2+, plus, four, plus two, four waters. So remember, it's non-HO, O, and we do oxygens, then hydrogens. And there's a reason we go in this order, because now we can balance the hydrogens by adding protons. And you, I notice you can see every time I do a step, I'm going to just completely rewrite the reaction. You can simply make your reaction longer. You don't have to rewrite each step if you don't want to do that. So to do this, I want to look at, I see I have no hydrogens on the product side here, but on the, on the product side, I have eight hydrogens here. So to do that, I'm going to add eight protons to the product side. So let's do that. So here are eight protons on the product side. Now we have an equal number of oxygens. We have four oxygens in the reactants, four oxygens in the product. We have eight hydrogens in the products and eight hydrogens in the reactant. So let's go through the steps again. We've got non-HO, O, electrons. That means a charge just need to be balanced. So we need to get the total reactant charge and the total product charge. So let's look at the reactant side closely. Now one mistake a lot of people do is they look at this plus one and say, oh, it's plus one. They're wrong. It's not plus one, it's plus eight. Because whatever you have as a coefficient, you have to multiply that charge by that coefficient. So if you notice here, we have an eight times a plus one plus a negative one. So the charge on, so the, charge on the reactant side is gonna be plus seven. So here I'm just going to write plus 7 to represent that we have a, a charge of plus 7 on the reactant side. Let's look, look at the product side. Now water has no charge at all. Water has charge is 0. But manganese has a charge of plus 2. So the charge on the product side is plus 2. The only way we can balance these charges is by adding electrons. So how many electrons do you think we add and to which side do you think they go? Hopefully you selected this. You're going to add five electrons to the reactant side. Because if you add a negative five to that positive seven that we wrote here, that would give you a, a positive two. And the charges are balanced on each side. And charges have to be balanced when you balance a reaction. It's just as important as balancing the atoms. So now we've completely balanced this half reaction. Now we haven't done the other reaction of the iron. So let's go ahead and balance this half reaction. Now this one should be relatively easy. That's what you've already written down with the potassium permanganates. That's a completely balanced one. Let's look at the iron. So we say iron 2 plus going to iron 3 plus. Now what happens, we need to add electrons to balance this. We, remember, we can go through the steps. Non-hydrogens and oxygens, those are irons, those are balanced. Non-ho, oh, you know, the only, because there's no oxygens or hydrogens, this one's rather simplistic. All we need to do are, are add electrons. So if we have a plus 2 on the reactant side, and a plus two on a product side, that means we only need to add one electron. And hopefully you recognize that one electron needs to be added to the product side. Now we have balanced this half reaction as well. So we've got two completely balanced half reactions. We've got the iron half reaction that's balanced, and we've got the potassium permanganate half, and we've got the potassium permanganate half reaction that's balanced. Now the last step is to combine those. Now hopefully you remember, to combine those, we have to be able to cancel out electrons. Now here we only had one electron, so we're going to multiply this entire half reaction of the iron ions through by 5. So when we do that, we end up with 5 iron 2 plus goes to 5 iron 3 plus and 5 electrons. Now that means we can combine those half reactions, so this is our last one. So I'm simply going to rewrite, there's one half reaction. Here's the other one, and I'm going to combine those. When I combine those, guess what's going to happen? Now, this has to happen. Your electrons cancel out. And whenever you do these, one thing you should note is electrons should be on opposite sides because something has to gain electrons, something has to lose electrons. And something else you'll see from this is notice that these electrons were gained. That means this substance was GER, gain electrons, permanganate was reduced. Now we can see this, if you look at the oxidation number of manganese in here, it's going to be plus 7, because oxygen is minus 2. Minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. It's got to equal minus 1, because manganese is, is minus plus 7. Sorry. 
So if it goes from plus 7 all the way down to plus 2, it means it gained 5 electrons. Gained electrons, that means the permanganate, that's your reduction. Now, over here, the iron is actually oxidized because it lost electrons. Every single iron just lost one, so that means it takes five iron atoms to react with, with one single potassium permanganate polyatomic ion because it needs to lot uh, more electrons it needs to cancel out for those to work. So these five irons are required to react with just one potassium permanganate. Now this means we can combine these two half reactions. And so what we're going to do is just cancel out the irons and then just write up everything that's left. And this is your total balance reaction. This is it.